Jared, I know you say you're doing your job, but what does it mean to get 20 boards in a playoff game? All right. Uh, it means a lot. I heard I'm in some good company right now. Uh, K Love, Brad Dortley. Uh, I always butcher his name, I'm not going to lie. Uh, <laughs> uh, but it's good company, yeah. After all that happened, transpired last year in the playoffs, how mm -hmm. satisfying is it for you guys to get the first two and kind of set the right. tone? It's very satisfying. It shows that we've grown not only as a team, but as individuals. You know, We're not folding under pressure. I mean, we do have our moments where we can still improve, but as a whole, I feel like we've taken a huge step forward. What goes into being an elite rebounder, particularly in the playoffs when right. it is like, that much more physical? Uh, want, like just wanting to do it. Uh, perfect guy, I always look to with stuff like this. Andy, you know, Anderson Verja, he was an excellent rebounder all throughout his career. Uh, hate to say it, was he the best overall? No, but every single time he went on the court, he wanted it. And, you know, I just looked at that and just tried to replicate it. Well, what has been just the key for your guys' team defense, holding these mm -hmm. guys to such low scoring through the first two games? Right. Uh, being physical. Uh, we learned that in our first playoffs. Like, if you're physical with them and you make every single play difficult, you're going to wear the other team down. And that's when they start making mistakes. Do you find that maybe you're kind of breaking their will a little bit? Uh... A little bit, but we know when we go to their place, they're going to be a completely different team. They're going to have their home crowd behind them. Uh, they don't want it to get the, excuse me, they don't want it to get the 3-0. Uh, they're just going to try to come at us like we've been doing to them. Uh, remember the protocols here. Raise your hand if you got a photo. We don't just blur them out in the room. Sorry. Sorry. Hey, Jared. Hey. Since you brought up Andy, who's got better hair, you or him? <laughs> It's different types, you know. I don't, I don't think we have to compare who's the better hair. We can just <laughs> appreciate <laughs> both and have fro nights each. You mentioned the evolution of this team <laughs> and the evolution as individuals. Mm -hmm. um, in what way are you most different in these playoffs compared to the guy last year against the Knicks? Right. Uh, I guess I'm just more comfortable. You know, I'm, I'm more comfortable with how I approach the game. I'm more comfortable with. I guess my role, knowing what I have to do every single night, uh, I just feel more stable and grounded. You talked about the reputation that you guys had as a team as a result of, of that series against New York. Right. And the one that was labeled on you as mm -hmm. well. Right. Um, how important was it for you in these playoffs to change that reputation? Uh, uh, it's not really important for me to change my reputation. I know who I am as a person. Uh, but I know it's still the reputation is still not changed. You know, we're only two games in. Uh, do we want to change it as a team? Probably. You know, we want to be known as a team that's going to go out there and fight every single night, and uh, we still have a long way to go for that. Yeah. So, coming into this series, if you were thinking about your individual matchup, mm -hmm. if if you were to win your matchup, which obviously you have, right? Uh, what impact did you think that might have on the series? Um, you know, I think about it like if I win my matchup, that's one out of five things to be done. You know, if Donovan wins his matchup, that's two out of five. You know, and if I can do my part in terms of that, it helps propel us forward. You know, everybody says I play a big part, an integral part in terms of rebounding, blocking shots, uh, all that blah, blah, blah defense. Uh, <laughs> I just try to do my part, and I think that helps a lot. They went away from Isaac uh, tonight. Right. Um, I think they went to, to Mo more than Wendell. Right. What, what do you think you'll see in game three? Uh, I'm not sure. Yeah, I, I don't know. I'm not a very big planner in terms of that. I can't. <laughs> I don't know. But I think they're actually they're going to come out with more physicality. I think that's going to be their thing when they come home. Uh, like I said, they have the crowd behind them. They the backs against the wall. So I know they want to throw the first punch. People talk about teams doing the little things. Are mm -hmm. there any of those elements that you feel like that, that you guys have done well in the first two games? Uh, I would say 50 50 balls. And, you know. Obviously, the bigs are supposed to rebound, but um, <clears throat> excuse me, the guards have done an excellent job coming in and getting a second hit on the bigs. Uh, Max, I mean, he always does an excellent job. Another night of three rebounds. Uh, Darius's rebounds don't show up, but the amount of times that he's hit either Jonathan, Isaac, any of the bigs, you know, it's not on the stat sheet, but every time we see it and we appreciate it. Uh, JB was talking about how he felt the week during the play-in when you guys just had all that practice time really helped kind of get your defense back on track. Right. What, 
what does that look like, those practice sessions? What does a practice look like when it's really just mm-hmm. defensive? Things? Right. Uh, a lot of communication. Uh, I know we don't want to be on our feet a lot. <laughs> Excuse me again. Um, but it's a lot of talking, make sure that <laughs> we know where we're going to be on the defensive end. And uh, we've had a lot of time to say, hey, stop, stop the play, talk it through, make sure we're in the right spot and make sure it's perfect every time. During the year, it's, it's kind of tough to do that when you want to stay off your feet for the games ahead. But when we had those five days, we could really hone into that. Jared Donovan said he uh, he enjoys the extra level of physicality in playoff basketball as well right. as the regular season. Do you share that same sentiment? Do you enjoy the extra physicality that comes with playoff basketball? Uh, it's part of it. You know, I, do I enjoy it? Yes. Do I not enjoy it? No. You know, it's it's just part of the the intensity that comes up during the playoffs. It definitely makes things easier. You can get away with a lot more. You know, there's <clears throat> I think guys like. Uh, uh, George are taking full advantage of it. He's a very physical player, and you can see how he's affecting the game with physicality. Uh, so, to answer your question, uh, I think I, I enjoy it. I enjoy it. Let's go with that. <laughs> when we talked to you after the uh, regular season finale, you said first to 85. Uh-huh. You held to 83 and 86. So right. Pretty spot on with that. Like anything 80. else you want to? I'm just for saying. For the next two games, Jerry? I, I just, just want to say I, I told you so, huh? Just, <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, oh yeah, like I said before, it's first to 85. Very, it's going to be a very defensive-minded series, and uh, let's just keep it that way. Nick Toombs, VSPN Radio, Jared. Um, mm-hmm. Talk about your success in the post and how it translates to you having fun. Like, are you having fun? I can tell you're having fun. All right. Uh, I always try to make the best of every situation. I know for a lot of people this can be stressful. You know, just trying to make sure everything is perfect, every single play is done at the peak of your ability. But for me, it's just go out there, play my game, and have fun. I know if I'm loose about it, I'm going to play my best basketball, and I feel I've been able to accomplish that. Chris. Jared, in, in a series like this where it is defensive-minded and two of the top right. ten defenses in the NBA, mm-hmm. what constitutes a good night offensively? Uh, getting good shots. and I think that's the best answer I can give you. Not every good shot is going to go in because, like you said, it's the top ten defenses. But as long as you get a good shot and a shot that – you know that you don't have to ISO for you know ten seconds. You're moving the ball, trying to move the other defense. I think that constitutes as a good offensive night. Okay, let's come wrap it up.